In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a new blog post by duplicating an existing blog post. So I am logged in here to the website. We've got our main menu to the left. I'm going to click on pages and then I'm going to click on the blog. And you'll see here the list of the existing blog post. So instead of starting from scratch, we're going to duplicate an existing post. So I'm gonna take this um, most recent post and I'm gonna click the three dots here to the right and choose duplicate. And you can see here that now we have a copy of that post and we can go in and edit. So I'm gonna go up to edit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change my title because I don't want um, obviously to have the same title. So this is gonna be the new blog post title. And then I'm going to delete um, the text that's here. Now, sometimes you'll have photos in here or quotes and things like that. So you might have to delete it by section. But in this case, I'm just gonna delete everything. And then I've got some Lorem Ipsum pulled up here. So I'm gonna copy my new blog post text. So this could be pulling from a Google Doc or something else where you've already got the text created. And I'm gonna paste it in here. Now, you can also obviously type right into this box as well, just like you're editing your blog post. And then you could go in and maybe put in some um, section headers here, and you could um, go in and maybe, you know, of course, obviously add some spacing, do some pulled quotes, etc. add your photos. So you've got your blog post here. Normally I just go ahead and save at that stage. That way I know I've got my new text, but now I've got to go in and edit my settings. So I'm gonna go here to our new blog, back to the three dots, and this time I'm going to click settings and we have some things we need to complete in the settings. So the first thing I would do is just go down this list in order. So I do not, as you see in the training guide, I do not use tags. I typically just use categories to keep things a little simple. Um, if you need to, if you want to use um, the category from the previous post, you can just go ahead and do a check mark there, or you can go ahead and, um, you know, type in the first couple letters of the next category, find it, um, just click on it, and then check mark it to, to mark that category. So we've got our categories. The comments are gonna be on by default, so you can disable them for either them for never for this post, or you can schedule them to be, to be turned off. I, I just leave mine on. Um, so we're gonna go over now to options. And we've got a couple things we need to do in options. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the thumbnail image from the previous post. And then you can either, um, just like you add images on your website, you can use the box here to add an image from your computer, or you can click search for images. You'll see your own library, and then you'll see um, some free and paid stock photo options as well. So we'll just go ahead and just choose this one and click add. And so it's gonna add our thumbnail. The next thing I wanna do is change my post URL. It's always going to have blog here, but I'm gonna delete what comes after the slash. And this is where you want to incorporate a keyword or two if you can. So you want to very concisely tell us what the post is about and try to use at least one keyword. So obviously here, we're just going to do test post. Um, the author is going to say whoever is logged in at the time. I don't have that set to show up, so it's not really important. However, if you want to bring in some guest post and things like that, you could turn this field on. So um, we're not using the excerpt text, but that is where that would go. Then we drop down to SEO. So here is where you're going to tell um, the search engines what your blog is about. So again, this can be your blog post title or it can be a little bit longer. Obviously, it's gonna tell you of 100 characters and then your SEO descriptions. You always want to fill both of those out for every blog post. 
Next is your social image. So this is going to default to your website's social image. So if you share it on social media, um, you can upload a specific social media image for this post, or it will otherwise it will just default to your website's social image. And then the last one here um, is gonna be share. Now your accounts are going to be connected, so you will have a um, a, a button here to toggle that will automatically let you um, post this blog over to LinkedIn or to Facebook or to Pinterest and all those accounts will be connected um, in your website training. And then the last one here is location and um, typically this would already be filled out in the previous post but you could go through i don't do all of these a lot of times i'll just do my business name and um, the city and state just helps a little bit with search engine optimization so when we have all of those fields done I come back up to content click on status and here you can either schedule this post to be live at a certain date and time, or if you click on published um, and you say save, you will see that this um, moved from draft to um, published and your new blog post is complete. So those are the steps to publish a new blog post on your website.